Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Tutorial. So, today we will discuss on how to find the quotient of the given function. So, to find the quotient of two functions, first put the first one over the second. So, formula in finding the quotient is the quantity of f over g times x equals f of x over g of x where g of x is not equal to 0 kasi pag ma 0 yung denominator that is undefined automatically the quotient is undefined okay so based on the given example if we have f of x equals 2x squared plus 3 and g of x equals 4x cubed plus 1 find the quotient based on the given function so using this formula so that is direct na tayo f of x equals i know f of x over g of x so equals so what is the value of f of x okay that is 2 x squared plus 3 over value of g of x that is 4 x cube plus 1 okay tingnan natin yung numerator and the denominator it is factorable 2x squared plus 3 mafactor ba natin yung 2x squared plus 3 okay hindi how about 4x cube plus 1 mafactor ba natin okay hindi rin pag hindi na natin mafactor yung numerator and denominator automatically yung given function that is your final answer okay ito na yung final answer pag hindi mafactor ang numerator and denominator so automatically ito na yung sagot natin what if lagyan natin yung value yung x what if if x equals to 1 okay just substitute the value of x to the equation so we have 2 times the value of x is 1 so raised to 2 plus 3 over 4 times 1 raised to 3 plus 1 so that is automatically pag 1 so that is 2 plus 3 over 4 plus 1 so the final answer is what is your final answer? 2 plus 3 equals 5 over 4 plus 1 that is 5 where the final answer is 1. So the quotient of the given function f of x equals 2x squared plus 3 and g of x equals 4x cubed plus 1 when x is 1 so the quotient is 1. Pag walang value ang x ito na yung final answer ang given that is your final answer 2x squared plus 3 over 4x cubed plus 1 pag walang value ang x okay nakuha okay let's proceed to number 2 or example number 2 okay let's try example number 2 if we have f of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 10 and x squared plus 8x plus 12 find the quotient of the given functions so we have formula f of x over g of x so automatically x squared minus 3x minus 10 over x squared plus 8x plus 12 tingnan natin yung numerator it is factorable yes or no okay yes so how to find or how to factor the value of the numerator ito factor ni idea okay to factor that numerator first tingnan natin yung negative 10 negative 10 what are the two numbers that if you multiply the result is negative 10 
and if you add the two numbers the result is negative 3 okay tingnan natin what are the two numbers ano ba yung factor ng negative 10 so we have negative 5 times positive 2 diba if we multiply negative 5 times 2 the result is negative 10 another one positive 5 times negative 2 if you multiply that two numbers the result is negative 10 but the factor is the part if you add the two numbers the result is negative 3 so tingnan natin negative 5 plus 2 what is your answer plus 2 okay that is negative 3 how about 5 minus 2 so that is positive 3 so what is the factor of the numerator so the factor is x minus 5 times x plus 2 because if we multiply this one the result is negative 10 and if you add the two numbers the result is negative 3 okay over how about the factor of the denominator what is the factor so ito yung 12 what are the two numbers that if you multiply the result is positive 12 and if you add the two numbers the result is positive 8 tingnan natin ano yung factor ng 12 so we have 4 times 3 another one 4 times 3 and ano pa? factor ng 12 ok that is 6 times 2 pwede rin ang 12 times 1 ok pwede negative, time, negative 4 times negative 3 still the result is positive 12 but if you add the two numbers dapat the result is 8x so tingnan natin 4 times 3 12 4 plus 3 equals 7 6 times 2 12 6 plus 2 8 12 times 1 that is 12 12 plus 1 that is 13 so what are the two numbers that if you multiply the result is 12 and if you add the two numbers the result is 8 okay very good so that is x plus 6 times x plus 2 oh tingnan natin based on this given example tingnan natin may pareha dito x plus 2 and x plus 2 okay i-eliminate na yan kasi x plus 2 divide x plus 2 automatically that is equivalent to 1 okay this one so the remaining value is x minus 5 over x plus 6 and this is your final answer that is x minus 5 over x plus 6 tingnan natin what if lagyan natin ng value si x lagyan natin ng value si x tandaan ito yung final answer final answer what if lagyan natin ng value si x it is negative 2 tingnan natin ha okay if we substitute negative 2 from the given function x squared minus 3x minus 10 over x squared plus 8x plus 12. So substitute negative 2 from the given function. So 2 raised to 2, negative, then minus 3 times negative 2 minus 10 over negative 2 raised to 2 plus 8 times negative 2 plus 12 okay negative times negative that is automatically that is 
4 this one plus 6 minus 10 over this one is 4 minus 16 plus 12 so 4 plus 6 that is 10 minus 10 equals 0 how about denominator 4 plus 12 16 minus 16 that is 0 so that is undefined so that is wrong anong dapat natin gawin you need to factor the numerator and denominator since the value of x is negative 2 sa natin yan ilagay dito natin yan is substitute sa na factor na na sagot okay so negative 2 so that is negative 2 minus 5 over negative 2 plus 6 so the final answer is negative 7 over 4 so ito na yung tamang sagot hindi 0 over 0 so pag ang value ng x is negative 2 you need to factor the numerator and the denominator okay thank you very much